Good morning. Just thought I'd let you know about some of the luxuries that we have, um, even though we are free camping. Hello. Say good morning. Good morning. We thought, <laughs> I won't take all the credit, um, we'd quickly do a, like a five minute YouTube video on a bit of like life in the van. And for us and a lot of people, power and running um, electronics uh, appliances and things is really important. Um, a lot of you know that like your inner drive systems that are like the trip in the van and all those, you know, people usually put in, go in the van. They do batteries, inverters and everything in the van under the lounge or under the bed. We've gone with something a little bit different and there'll be a full detailed video of the install and everything about that coming soon. But, um, but, um, we went with a Safari system, which is actually in the truck. So we've got 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. Um, in the truck, we can then run our in the crazy coffee machine, which is goes from like whole beans, ground, blah, 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 um, right through to putting out coffee, which Daniel drinks are like espresso shots. So he just has that. We've got our toaster, which Aria loves. We've got things like the microwave, our instant pot, aircon. We can run all of that off our battery system. So we plug in a 15 amp hour cord into the outlet of the back of the truck. I we plug that stuff. into the caravan's inlet and the caravan yeah, thinks it's on um, mains power and runs everything that we need. We, yeah, so is there more to the, more to the battery sort of setup that you want to put in here other than like We've got a 3,000 watt inverter, 600 amp hours of lithium, and 670 watts of solar on the roof of the truck. And that all goes through a system and runs our caravan off grid perfectly. So basically we left the caravan power system the way it came from the factory. So we bought this second hand, we didn't spec up the power or anything. Currently it's got two AGM batteries and two small solar panels on the roof. Which aren't enough to like do much, just enough to run the fridge and stuff basically. Um, so instead of mucking around with all that, we just decided to put everything into the truck. And then the truck's our vehicle, we drive everywhere around. So um, in the future, we can change the caravan if we want to and just keep the truck. And the truck's our power bank. And when we leave the caravan and go camping with just the truck, um, we still have all of our power too. And we have enough weight and stuff, so I can probably put my sweet coffee machine just in the truck and have coffee in the middle of nowhere. We'll <laughs> <laughs> see the space. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment we're on the shores of Lake Glenbourne, and we're like, you it's know, camping. kilometers from the nearest power point. But <laughs> yeah. uh, we got coffee and toast. We and are we are planning to um, pop in an inverter and. Um, with like and battery yeah. into the cabin. So I've ordered a really, really I'm cheap happy. 100 amp hour lithium battery. Um, it's more for weight. It weighs about 10 kilos and the two AGM batteries that are in the caravan weigh like 64 kilos, I think. So I'm going to whack out the two AGMs and put in the lithium instead. It was like $450 and at that price. I think it's worth doing. And we already had a King's 1500 watt converter that we bought previously to leaving. So I'm going to whack that under the under the bed and then when the truck's gone away, so if a man goes shopping with Ari or whatever, you can still have power in the caravan, like 240 volt power, which mostly is just for work for us because um, we run uh, this big ass monitor for my photo editing and we also do it for video editing. So here's the dog. Dogs chillaxing on the couch. Um, yeah. Washing. <laughs> and the washing. Life yeah. on the road. Life on the road. Yeah. So when the truck's gone away, it's nice to still have um, just power for small things like the monitor. It's nothing major. We're not running the aircon or anything off that 100 amp hour battery. So hope that answered any questions. Let us know if you have any others. Um, happy to, yeah, answer any other little questions. Yeah, there'll be a full detailed video that we'll do with like a run through of the whole system and everything. But the question comes up all the time about coffee off grid. It's like the main and thing air and aircon off grid and stuff. So, yeah.